You're welcome to today's podcast from the studios of Enya Monthly Radio, right here in Nigeria, particularly or especially in Opoku Avenue, Elisha, Ocean State. My name is Boluwatito Afolabi. You can also call me Dad. On today's podcast, we want to look at something in the half line, you know, something pertaining to half. As a matter of fact, growth. And specifically, we want to take a look at the concept of aging. All things, most especially living organisms, age. Yes, we've been taught right from secondary school in integrated science and extensively biology that one of the characteristics of living thing is to mature or age in fact as weird as it may seem aging starts taking place from the time of conception how when a fetus in the womb gets to a certain stage it ages as soon as conception is done or perceived as soon as one conceives it starts maturing you know that the stage of maturity can also be considered aging till this point of delivery it is once the fetus mature in the womb that is when it gets delivered whether male or female so that particular stage is called the mature stage so first of let's take a look at what aging is aging takes place in a cell an organ or the total organism with the passage of time it is a process that goes on over the entire adult lifespan of any living thing in layman terms aging is the process of becoming older the term refers mainly to humans many other animals and fungi for example bacteria perennial plants and some simple animals are potentially biological immortal but in a broader sense aging can refer to single cells within an organism which have ceased dividing or the population of a species you know it basically means that um, aging takes place when the cell goes through a particular process and uh, you know right from the time of birth you know like i said earlier from the time of conception but after conception and after delivery basically uh, the child ages and that is when you start celebrating few months a month two three four a year and so on and so forth till the time of death of such a particular thing so it's actually takes or goes through the cells it starts from dividing of the cells growing of the cells so to say maturing of the cells this actually someone is another person's area of specialty and i think one of these days someone who is specialized like a medical doctor can actually be invited for us to understand more the concept of aging all right back to our topic definitely we're going to go ahead to invite a specialized person someone who has vast knowledge about this but in our own way let's just take a look at it in layman terms in humans aging represents the accumulation of changes in a human being over time and can encompass physical psychological and social changes reaction time for example may slow with age while memories and general knowledge typically increase with aging it's an it can actually be physical or um, based on uh, the level of knowledge this means that if it's physical in terms of growing 
height wise you know as high as some people can go that is why we have short people we have tall people so for someone who is short it it might get to a particular uh, stage we either five 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 four uh, you know you could say someone is five feet tall someone is uh, four feet tall three feet tall and so on and so forth it's so once the person has reached the maximum of the height naturally the person in that physical wise or physically stops aging so to say but uh, the overall feature now of the person might continue to grow uh, older for example it's mostly known on the face okay for example someone who is short now um, and is 50 cannot you cannot refer to that person as a small child so it reflects on the person's face that oh this person is older even if it is not manifesting through the height of the person now do you get what i'm trying to say so now the the age cannot be considered height wise do you get me uh, now you cannot say someone who is short because the person is short is a five-year-old child no other person is 50. it sounds it's in fact it manifests on the face of such a person that oh this person that's why the fact that this person is short is not five is not even 10 is not 20 but such a person is 50 year old okay if we are to relate it to our cultural beliefs that's aging now or settings aging could be physical or mental the physical aspect is what we look at earlier what we took a look at earlier and uh, explained what the physical aspect is you cannot say that someone who is 50 because the person is short is 10 or in his teenage years and so on and so forth uh, god has created everything as he pleases we have the short people we have the tall people we have the big people we have the slim people and so on and so forth he takes pleasure in varieties that's just god doing his thing and um uh, manifesting his deeds in various beautiful forms and you are one of such people you are beautiful the way you are notwithstanding the height the weight color and so on and so forth leave them it's just you can leave the haters it's just god manifesting his work through you okay what we are saying which is the concept of aging okay that's part of that we've taken a physical look at it mentally in the mental aspect in african setting for instance you hear people say is wiser or older than his age and uh, this means that a 10 year old child is a boy or girl could actually when such a person speaks could actually speak as someone who is 15 or 18 or even 20 at times that's because probably such a child is attentive and in that aspect you know such a child also depicts being wiser or older than his age that's part of the fact that he is 10 or 12 because speak like someone who is 20 or 15 or in his late teenage years now after saying all this there are different stages of aging but for today we'll just discuss two stages of aging that's what we discuss on this program for today at this point i would love to um, accept or invite contributions what are your thoughts about the concept of aging do let us know if you have more than these stages that i'm about to mention share right here on the column on the uh, comments section of this program we would love to hear your contributions so please do well to share your contributions with us what are your thoughts concerning things and don't forget this is still the podcast from the studios of Enya only online radio let's rub minds together and uh, take a look at the concept of aging now the first stage of aging is the old age the old age wow 
what is it about the old age what what do we understand about the old age do not forget i said we have different stages of aging and for this for this program we'll talk about too you really want to know about it join me next time on the program as we take a look at the stages of aging and we'll start from the old age before we gradually move to the next stage it is still the podcast on any Akwali online radio i hope you have learned one or two things from this do not forget to drop your comment on the comment section of this podcast my name is Oluwatito Afolabi. you can also call me dad till next time when we meet on the podcast on any Akwali radio i'm yours sincerely bye for now